Hello and welcome to Rotary Rocketry. Today I'm going to show you how you can build any size rocket recovery parachute 3.6 meters or 12 feet in diameter or less for under $20. Well, the weather may be getting a little bit colder, but that doesn't mean we stop doing rocketry. Just means we need something a little bit warmer to wear, like this Rotary Rocketry hoodie. Available with a variety of fantastic graphics. Check out the full line of Rotary Rocketry products. There's a link to the shop down in the description. For this project, we only need two parts. The first one is a pre-made children's play toy parachute. Now, these are available on Timu.com in three different sizes. 2 meters, which is 6.5 feet, 3 meters, which is just under 10 feet, and 3.6 meters, which is just under 12 feet. All three of those sizes can be purchased for less than $10 a piece. And the second thing we need is paracord for the shroud lines. Now I'm going to be making a fairly small parachute, 5 feet in diameter, or around 1.5 meters. I've chosen to use 2 millimeter paracord. A 50 meter roll of this can be found for around $7 on Timu. If I was making a larger parachute, I might increase this to 3 millimeter paracord, and a roll of that can be found for around $9. The first thing you need to decide is how big of a parachute you want to make. I'll be making a 60 inch parachute, which is just a little bigger than 1.5 meters. So I purchased the smallest of these parachutes that has a diameter of 2 meters or 78 inches. The style of parachute we'll be making is sometimes called a parachute because it's made from a flat piece of fabric rather than a shaped canopy. I'll start out by making a mark in the center of the parachute. Now we need the radius of the parachute. That's half the diameter, so for my 60 inch parachute the radius is 30 inches. If you want a round parachute, hold a straight edge ruler at the center mark and hold a marker at the radius distance and rotate the ruler drawing a circle onto the fabric. I prefer octagon parachutes, so that's the style I'll be making. I'll measure down each seam of the fabric the radius distance of 30 inches from the center mark and make a mark on the fabric. I'll repeat that at all eight of the seams. Then I'll draw lines connecting these points. Now that you've drawn a round or octagon shape, cut out your parachute. Now we need to cut eight shroud lines. To calculate the length of the shroud lines, take the width of the parachute and multiply that by 1.2. For this one, that comes to 72 inches. We're going to sew 2 inches of the shroud line to the fabric, so we'll add 2 inches. Then we're going to make a small loop at the end of each one of the shroud lines, so we'll add an inch for that. So we'll cut 8 pieces of paracord 75 inches long. Inside the paracord is one or several small white cords. I'm going to pull these cords out of the paracord. Now you might be thinking, doesn't this make the paracord weaker? Well, it does, but the remaining cord is still very strong. Removing these center cords makes the paracord less bulky, lighter weight, and will make it much easier to sew the cord onto the parachute. I'll burn one end of each of the shroud lines with a flame to keep it from fraying. I'm not going to burn the other end because we don't want the burnt end in the way when we sew it to the parachute. Before heading to the sewing machine, make a mark at each seam line two inches from the end of the fabric. Position a shroud line on the fabric beside the two inch line and secure it in place with a pin. And then sew on half of the shroud line furthest from the pin. Remove the pin and sew on the rest of the shroud line. Now I'll stitch down the shroud line one more time just for added strength, and repeat that for all eight of the shroud lines. I'm going to attach the other ends of the shroud lines to this openable link, so I'll need to tie a small loop at the end of the paracord. I like to use a bowline knot for this. I'll put a link in the description to a video that is an excellent tutorial on how to tie a bowline knot. The nice thing about a bowline knot is that it's self-tightening. The harder you pull on the cord, the tighter the knot gets. Put all eight of the shroud lines onto the link, making sure that they're not twisted or tangled. And the parachute is finished. 
Well, this was definitely the easiest parachute making project I've ever done. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. We really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.